He's out! He's out! Ben Askren submits He's not out! He wasn't 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 out! Alright, let's have some fucking fun. I was thinking when it was over that Herb Dean made a mistake, but the more I watched it, the more I think he didn't. My head was on his body on this side and his arm was over here, so I couldn't hear him talking. My arm's here, so there's definitely nothing over that one ear. Going limp can be strategic. I'm not going to just dangle a hand there, so I just put it down, and then when he checked, I gave him the thumbs up. He puts the hands up, but like it, it could be on that sweet spot where he was still awake and he was still going out. Because Robbie's such a fucking savage, he probably didn't even know he went out. Why would you keep the hand over the head of Askren? He was squeezing so damn hard, it was like, just let him burn out his arms. Ben has a real squeeze. Phenomenal squeeze. The truth is that nobody knows if it's a blood choke or not. Referees make bad calls. It's inevitable. Bad stop. The arm goes down, sure. People are going to say they know. Oh, we know, we know. Nobody really knows. He wasn't choked out. We all know he wasn't choked out. When you see the replay, when you see the slow-mo, when you see the different angles, then you go, you know, it was probably a bad call. I wasn't choking because I was actually thinking I could just pick him up and slam him. I mean, he wasn't getting out. It was just, could I squeeze him out for the other round or not? It was legit choke. It was legit. And Herb Dean knows how legit it is. He knows how scary this technique is. Herb lifts his hand a couple times and says, Robbie, are you okay? And nothing happens. He like, said he lightened up when Herb came over because he thought that Herb was going to stop the fight because he felt Robbie go limp. You don't lighten up because you think someone's going to stop a fight. Herb Dean was not in a position to make a decisive call. Robbie Lawler was robbed and Ben Askren looked terrible. When you've been choked out, when you wake up, it's like coming out of a dream. You don't know where you are, what's going on, all that stuff. What you don't do is jump right up in the referee's face and yell. <laughs> close to going out whatsoever. No, no. Okay. Yes. We thought he was out, but in all fairness, I thought Ben was out earlier. He got slammed on his head. A lot of people, when they get slammed, they punch it hard by Robbie Lawler. They say, I'm fucking out of here. And they'll roll over, they'll give up their back, and they'll get choked out. But that was, wasn't going down like that. I was going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting uh, until I got what I wanted. When Robbie ran that truck through Ben's face, mm. like he was out. I guess I slammed him pretty hard. and hit him with some big shots that I felt like uh, he was hurt pretty bad. I feel like Robbie knocked him out, woke him up, knocked him out. How long is the day of bitch about that stoppage? Because it's going to be quick. The way he handled the loss was so but, classy. But that's Robbie, man. Considering the way it ended, would you be open to a rematch? Not really. We're gonna rematch that fight. Yeah, you, you gotta do a rematch. The the ref absolutely blew that call. I saw your arm limp. I grabbed it, and then but I, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't happened, give you the man. thumbs up. It happens. it happens. I mean, he's a hell of a ref. He just made a mistake. I'm not the freaking referee. Is all it comes down to. Rocky's obviously one of my favorite fighters. So kind of sucked. I had to fight him first. Come on, I didn't want to fight him in the first place. Why do I want to fight him again? I mean, I'd like to run it back. We, we, we want to do the fight again, so. I pass. You have done an incredible job of planting seeds everywhere, just having little issues with a bunch of people, so that means you can go in a bunch of different directions. But we know what you're mainly here for is, yeah. of course, the fight on Saturday night. Jorge Masvidal, Darren Till, you said openly that you want the winner of that fight. I want to fight Darren Till, he's right back there. No, he tries to come across all intelligently, so I just say, basically, shut up. Whatever, I just I can't really repeat what I say to him, but you get the gist. He's a. I think Darren Till is highly annoying, very immature, and obviously he's higher ranked, right? He's number three, and that's that would serve me the best. He's here to cause problems, to make some noise. That's what Funky Ben Askren does. We know that. Oh! Hey! Oh, Gorillas in the that's house. That's who I came for. <laughs> Darren Till. Darren Till. Darren Till. I think Till's it. I think I got a hook, line, and sinker. Oh! Oh, he slipped! Oh, he's oh, What a finish for Jorge Masvidal! We had the seed with Darren Till. He just got knocked out. We had the seed with Masvidal. He just has his thing with Edwards. With the, getting the three-piece with the soda. And we just glide out of there. Here's who I am willing to fight next. Marty, Colby, Till, Wonderboy, RDA, 
Ponzinibbio, Lawler, Maya, Edwards, or Masvidal. I'll fight any of them. I like your idea, Ben, but who? So here's the deal. And data came out and said this morning they're looking to do me and Masvidal. I said yes last week. It didn't take me more than 10 seconds to say, of course, George, let's do this. Jorge Masvidal, Ben Askren. Is it happening? Is it not? Now I'm starting to hear he's getting cold feet. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to fight me because he's scared. He thinks you need to, to rematch Robbie Lawler. Didn't make the dupe tap Robbie Lawler and didn't put him to sleep, but you think you have a win in the UFC. The reason he's saying that and every other welterweight is saying that is because they don't want me to be on their dance card next. Ben could say and do whatever the fuck he wants. He's a punk. He wanted a money fight. Listen, I'm the biggest money fight you can get right now. That will break his face at some point. I don't know if it'll be in a parking lot. I don't know if it'll be at a gym. I don't know if it'll be in the octagon. If he wants to move towards the title, I rank five spots ahead of you, Jorge. He's trying to make every excuse why he doesn't have to fight me. You're not a fucking man. You're a punk, and the bitch in you will be brought out. You never heard him once say, put me against Ashford. He's an easy fight. I'll kick his ass. He didn't say that. Stop asking me about Ben. Don't give a fuck. It's simple, George. Yes or no. Stop making excuses. Stop being a wimp. Just say yes. You keep hitting me up all you want, though. You little s, you know? I'm in. If he, if he stops being scared and signs a contract, then I think we're definitely good to go. There are men, and then there's Jorge Horace Masvidal. Yeah. Just the on another beast. Level. Jorge Masvidal is one of these guys who came up on the sort of Kimbo slice circuit, literally fighting in backyards in Miami, and he has elevated himself to this position. People sleep on Masvidal. Do not know why. We're talking about a guy who has been doing this for a long time. I think the ref will stop this fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. It's over. And that's a good stoppage. I agree. Big win for Masvidal. Bouncing back to a controversial decision. It's time for Masvidal to step up, I think. Masvidal is much more boxing-oriented. In his attack. Oh! Another knockdown for Game Red. Cerrone in a world of trouble here. Masvidal worked in the body, and that is it. He's, he's a crafty fighter, man. Really well schooled. Oh, big kick. Masvidal jumping on news as he drops him. Masvidal, a confident, brash striker that will walk you down and put a lot of pressure on you. When his confidence starts to build in fights, this is when he gets dangerous. Oh. In the clinch, but he eats a huge job over there. And that's going to be it. Jorge He's an I don't give a fuck, I'll punch you in the face guy. And he's a world class fighter. Oh! Beautiful left hook! He is a really masterful technician. He's a bad motherfucker, man. Well, on the one hand, he is the street tough guy. And on the other hand, he is the really thoughtful, cerebral fighter. He's got oh. Literally can beat anybody. So if he's good. on, yes. If, he's on. if he brings so his end game, he can. Everybody's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a lot of dude, motherfuckers uh, are in trouble yeah. when Ben Askren yes. gets a hold of you. You're like, why can't I get up? Ben You're not going to be able to prepare for how good he really is. It's almost grappling with like two different people <laughs> at the same time. I mean, there's a reason why he's undefeated. Oh, that's it. Let's go. Oh, and our triangle. Any fighter at welterweight, do not get under Ben Askren. You're not getting up, and he never gets tired. You can't really mimic the amount of pressure that he could put on you when he's on top of you. Askren went down to his own terms, remains undefeated forever. Ben Askren, one of the greatest welterweights ever. He's, uh, it's a, just a different caliber of wrestling. What a performance by Ben Askren. Back-to-back -back champ at 174. Every uh -huh. fight is easy for him. He just grabs everybody and well, fucking manhandles uh -huh. him. It's the crowd that we heard about! Oh, it's there! Yuki Shimada calls a hold to it. When you come to the UFC, you fight the best. He's one of the best in the world. You know what I mean? He's, he's undefeated. You're going to fight the best. You're going right into the to the to the top of the heat. I think what's interesting about Ben Askren is Ben Askren. People didn't realize how fucking popular he is. And how people want to see what an undefeated wrestler who dominated guys like Lima and Koroshkov and Bellator still hasn't lost. Dominated. Don't you want to see what the fuck that guy can do? Fuck me, show ain't going nowhere. 